Well, Hillary Clinton takes a page from the Trump playbook, stepping up a war of words with Donald Trump. She blasted him in a foreign policy speech, portraying him as unqualified and dangerous after she unleashed a similar attack on Twitter against Trump University, calling Donald Trump a fraud. So will this new style of campaign work for Mrs. Clinton? Judith Miller is a Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter and author. Cal Thomas, a syndicated columnist. Both are Fox News contributors. Good to have the two of you on together again. <laughs> nice Thanks, to John. be back with like you. Old times. <laughs> yeah, it's, yes, it is. All right. So, Judy, uh, you know, it's kind of a different campaign tone from Hillary Clinton. Will it work? Well, at least she's alive. I mean, she's been, <laughs> she's countering Donald Trump's omnipresence on broadcast media and in the newspapers. She's finally figured out that if people aren't talking about you, they're not going to like you anymore. So yes, she's being more assertive. She's actually calling in to broadcast networks yeah. and cable news stations. She's given two very strong speeches, and she's honing in on what I think is going to be her main camp campaign fame, which is Donald Trump is temperamentally unsuited to the presidency. He is dangerous. So it'll be crooked Hillary versus dangerous Donald. Let's see who wins that one. It's going to be interesting. I found it a little, I don't know, disconcerting to listen to her call into those shows. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. Maybe because she hasn't really done it before, Cal. But I just thought it was weird. Well, this is new for the Democrats, uh, John. They're used to uh, slinging charges and uh, conveying charges through the media uh, against Republicans and having the Republicans uh, scurry for uh, cover, much like uh, what happens at 3 a.m. when you turn your light on in the kitchen in Texas and all the roaches head for the exits. Uh, so this is something totally new to them. And Trump is a fighter. I mean, he's shown that, and this is what a lot of his supporters like. Whether you, whether you respect him or not, whether you think he make a good president or not, this is an amazing thing that has hasn't happened before. They are, a lot of Trump supporters are sick of Republicans kowtowing and apologizing and trying to prove they're not racist and sexist and homophobes. And here's a guy who, uh, you know, this is going to be uh, the, uh, this is going to make the thriller in Manila look like the undercard. <laughs> but Cal, when, when she says that Trump University was a scam and that he yeah. cheated people out of their life savings and that kind of thing, does that resonate with some voters? I don't think, well, it may with some voters, John, but I don't think most people uh, give a hoot about Trump University. The Middle East is on fire. Uh, we've got uh, serious problems with China and Russia. Uh, the economy is a mess. The new unemployment figures out today. Uh, we, we see more people who are out of work, looking for work, can't find work, despite the fact that a few tens of thousands of jobs were supposedly added. A lot of people working part time. The effects of Obamacare, uh, the higher taxes on that, the, uh, the laying off of people, the, the uh, robot that are now being uh, hired by some fast hired they're being created by some fast food organizations because of the raise of the minimum wage I mean all of these things are major problems I think Trump you is way way down on the list of people's concerns so uh, Judy I mean do you think that that raising concerns about Trump University can frighten voters away from from Donald Trump I think it's part of a theme the kind of con man theme that she's going to be emphasizing that Donald Trump changes his positions that he's ignorant of foreign policy that he doesn't know what he's doing and that he's a con artist and I think Trump you is you know case in point given the release of the documents and also his very ham-handed and offensive attack on the judge and his ethnicity that is a reference to his being born of Mexican parents it's vintage Trump okay it may work in the Republican primary, but I'm not sure it's going to work in a general election. But well, Judy, if you, have, if you haven't noticed, most politicians are con artists. You know, it's just <laughs> instead, of the, instead of the lesser of two evils, we're going to be choosing between the evil of two lessers. Well, these are two very unpopular candidates. Yeah. I mean, that we know. So we're going to distribute the, uh, you know, the clothespins and, and, and send you off to the polls. But, Cal, you know, <laughs> Donald Trump has plenty of ammunition to fire back at Hillary Clinton. Well, he does, and we just saw his uh, tweet uh, responding to her so-called foreign policy speech. He said, hey, I was against going into Iraq. That's a very strong argument on his part. I mean, Hillary Clinton has a record. Donald Trump is an outsider. Okay, he has a record in business, but she has a record in government, and she wants to run the government as president of the United States, and so her record and her judgment uh, are a fair game. And it's also true, Judy, that she still has Bernie Sanders to deal with. I mean, he's running hard in California. 
Um, uh, yes. Potentially, uh, co you know, complicating her efforts to try to focus on Donald Trump. That's definitely true, and it's sapping money and energy and attention. But I think the fact that we've seen now this new assault from her and this flurry of tweets and things she's never done before, now she just has to pretend that she's going to be nice to the press <laughs> because she doesn't like the press any more than Donald Trump does. But at least she has the savvy to know that attacking us and calling us sleazy and incompetent is not a way to win our affection. We will see whether this uh, new, you know, I don't know, Hillary 2.0, if you want to call it that, whether, right. that, whether that new candidate sticks. It's going to be interesting to watch. Cal Thomas, Judy Miller, thank you both. Thanks, thank John. You, John. See if she has a press conference. Hasn't had one of those in a while. It's been a while. Yes. Six months or so. <laughs>